Hey, hey guys, what's going on? Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> I think I probably should have done some of my homework before I went into this story here. But the um, <clears throat> a, a, a friend of mine turned me on to a particular uh, story about a Bible that leaks some kind of an oil. All right. And because, you know, because I ain't there, I ain't seeing it, I haven't checked it out. To me, it looks like a scam. Most all of these things have come out being a scam. But, you know, that's, that's being a skeptic, right? Yeah. Well, there's also a few things, you know, in our Bible that God or Jesus would say there'd be a lot of miracles being brought in my name. They ain't going to be there. He says, I, that's not me. You know, and they said there'll be a lot of people come in my name and do miracles and stuff like that. But that ain't me. He, he says, you can be assured. He says, you know, you think that, uh, oh, you'll see him over there. No. He says, that, that, don't believe him. This is in our Bible. This is what it says. People will come in and they, there will be these things that happen. But you, you also have to understand that we've already been taught in our Bible that as we work with the whore, when we work with, this, the, the, with religion and we work with man, and they got magic tricks or stuff of their own, but it's a superstition, and it's like, you know, hey, where's all this oil coming from? And they say, oh, it's got to be God, you know, really? And the way they know this is because God spoke to them and told them all they really need to do is believe and tell everyone that this comes from God, and this is all they have to do, that God told them this. And this is where I draw the line. I draw the line right here. I said, God does not talk to people. This is, this is not what happens. This, this is not how it works. This is not in the, the it's not in the books here. You know? yeah. It's, it's not in, it's not in it. it. It's not in how he talks and creates and makes profits and stuff like that. You know, and he doesn't do things with an oil. This is an outside thing. You know, he just wants you to believe that it's God. Do you know what people think God is right now? They think it's just Father. That's what they think God is. Well, that's a bait and switch, baby. Bait and switch. You have to understand when, when you give up the real God, Mother and Father, after you connected them together and you've got it all going down, this is the truth. This is where the Spirit gets truth from. This is where you are fed something beautiful and you're drinking something truthful. And this idea, you know, coming from the outside of us and putting oil on their heads and stuff. You, God is directing us to come inside and anoint us from the inside. But the outside shit can't do nothing for you. But if that's your passion, if you really got to have that, if you got to have that... You know that that the, the the crazy shit. You know you get that that is what replaces the truth, and they call it works. And it's like you know, like you know, like uh, some kind of craft. They call it witchcraft. It could be anything. And not that I'm going to be so superstitious or anything like that. Yes, these things exist. Yes, they exist. But the idea that that's God is it's crazy. You know, these things, if they talk to you and make any kind of manifestation in front of you and using words that you can understand, didn't come to you in a, in, while you were in meditation, didn't come to you while you were in meditation, that's the prophet, that's the guy who's bringing us some kind of word. That's the guy. I'm, teach, I'm, I'm one of those guys. But I, I never talked to God. I've never seen God. But you can see the, the, what you get out of it is you got a teacher, you got someone who can read this Bible now, and you got someone who can can give you the background of, of the, the 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 very bones and the uh uh what what the, the weave of the consciousness of our earth is right there, you know. And I was getting the ability to be able to see it. Alright. So here's someone on the on this guy here's been given a bunch of oil, a bottle that's just soaked in oil. And he opens it up, and it has all these highlighted places in there. And they're saying, "Look, look at how pristine this is. It's just, it's just oil." So the idea is, you know, and they're taking this oil and giving it to everybody. So they got all these. It's all. It's 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 just 
it's just too contrived. Too contrived to be God. Just tell them it's God. And they got all these crazy people. Damn. Shit. Some crazy stuff. But that's an outside approach. Even putting oil on your outside. It's like going getting baptized. It's, it's like going and getting ashed and stuff like that. Won't do your spirit any good. No matter how much you believe in it. Zip. Zilch. Nada. Nada, nada, nada. And our, our Bible tells us that. God doesn't talk to people <clears throat> in normal language. He, he only speaks to us in dark language. And he can only speak to us when we are in spirit. And when he speaks to us, we don't remember a damn thing because we don't have our skin when we do this. We don't have our ears. and We don't have any way of recording what goes on when we are hanging out and dwelling with the Lord when we're meditating. We never, 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 ever, ever, never see, touch, feel, hear, or anything. But it's in the fruit. It's in the fruit, you know. And I'm I'm one of the most fruitiest people that you'll ever meet. All right, I'm bearing fruit. All right, all right. So, anyways, uh, don't get caught up. You know, don't marvel on this outside stuff. If you think all that shit is really quite, that's the hook. That's the idea. It's meant to do this. It's supposed to grab you. Go have a great time. Go enjoy that folly. But you guys that believe in God. G-O-D with mom and dad together and stuff. You stay away from that shit. You just let those you let those kids play around with that 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 shit. Because that's all it is. Ain't gonna do ain't gonna do them no harm. They're doing their works. Let them let them have their little folly. God damn. It's it's stupid shit. Stupid shit. Enjoy your poverty. And, and while the rest of us, we just, you just put a little smile on your face. Look at these idiots, all right? God does not communicate with human beings, man. He only communicates with the spirit that's inside of you. And you have to figure out how to let it loose to run around with him for that to happen. But I have listened to and met so many people who think God is with them. And oh, my God. I will tell you, they're barred from heaven. <clears throat> they are barred from heaven. I would tell you that this is what it would mean. Is no. Nope. Nope. There's a few things that you got to learn about. And one of those things is that when you cross over, excuse me, <clears throat> that when you cross over onto the side and you're dealing with mom and dad and you've kicked them, the buck you've kicked the idea of following this bitch anymore which is religion that's because you're going to the mother of us all not the whore of us all and that's the first thing that you get rid of when you get your mother back is you lose the bitch we shake her off our back and for you people that like to fall for these little tricks and stuff like that you've got to have these signs and stuff like that don't you understand that's a sign, right? Oh, it's a sign from God. He says, you know, it's an adulterous generation that looks for signs. And adulterous means that you're, you're, you're screwing around with the whore and totally neglecting mom. It means you're a dead, you're just dead. Let the dead bury the dead. Let them have a good, ta good time. Enjoy themselves and the folly. It's just crazy, all right? Like I'm saying, all the rest of you guys out there that are just on the fence, don't go play that game. Don't play that game. Don't play that game. It's equal to the works. It's worth, it's worth dying. I mean, it's not worth dying for. All right? Chavity soon. I love you.